Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today we're going to talk about Nikola, we're going to take a look at the latest news and then we're also going to take a look at the chart as well as the short interest. So make sure to watch until the end and also make sure to hit that subscribe button. So first of all, let's take a look at the news that came out today. And as you can see here, Nikola finally announced that on March 21st, 2022, they began the production of the free battery electric vehicle at its facility in Arizona, where they would deliver around 300 to 500 semi-trucks this year. We did also see that Nikola expects to start the production of the free BV in Germany by June 2023, which indeed would help to scale up the production as well. Even though that the production capacity at the Arizona manufacturing plant should have a capacity of 2,500 trucks per year. Also, we do know from the Q4 earnings report that when the phase 2 expansion is completed at the Arizona manufacturing plant, that should boost the capacity up to 20,000 trucks per year. So all of the news we saw coming out today came from the Nikola Analyst Day presentation, where we did see a bunch of bullish comments made by analysts who have actually attended. And one of these analysts, named Jeffrey Kaufman from Vertical Research Partners, said that the Nikola story has increased credibility now as trucks start to roll off the line. He did also say that Nikola could surprise with more customer orders in the future, and we have already seen a lot of orders coming in, but with the current expectations of only delivering 300 to 500 trucks in 2022, some customers would have to wait a while if they're going to make pre-orders. So I think with all the bullish comments made by the analysts, I think we could start to see new ratings for Nikola, new price targets. Because as you can currently see here, the average price target for Nikola is only $10.43, with the analysts thinking that there's only 8% upside potential for Nikola from the current stock prices. We did also see some news yesterday on March the 23rd. We saw that Alta Equipment Group expands Nikola dealer network to Arizona. So hopefully this partnership between Nikola and Alta Equipment Group could lead to more orders in the future. So next up, let's take a look at the chart to see what we can expect for the near future. And as you can see here today, Nikola closed at $9.66, up almost 6% on the day, but we did see highs of $10.90. We did also see some insane volume coming in today. We had over 60 million shares being traded, which is well above the daily average. So if you look at the chart, you can see here that we have finally turned this resistance area into a support area. So let's just make the screen. And currently we're actually trading well above the support area down here at $9. So the next resistance area for Nikola is up here at this trend line, which is actually going all the way back here to November of 2020. And as you can see here, this has acted as a really strong resistance area. And every time we have hit this trend line, we have just come down again. So hopefully this time we're going to break out of this downtrend we have been trading in for almost two years now. And that could definitely lead to a huge bull run for Nikola. Also, we do have a lot of short interest in this stock. You can see that almost 28% of the public float is sold short, which is actually quite a lot. And if we're going to see Nikola breaking out of this downtrend channel, then I think we could see some short sellers wanting to cover the positions. So for the next few weeks, I think we're going to be trading above $9 a share. And hopefully we're going to see a break out of this downtrend channel in the next couple of weeks as well. But that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also remember to like the video. Have a good time. Bye.